everyone and welcome to this new Hungarian lesson about prefixes. Prefixes are little words that you put before a word, right? Just so that we are clear with this. And in Hungarian, you have a lot of those in many, many different words. So I'm going to show you today how uh, important it is to know the prefixes so that you kind of uh, can guess what a word means if you know the prefix and the word that it's put together with. So let's start. Be. Be means towards the inside. Be. Ki. Ki means towards the outside. Ki. Le means towards down. Down. Le. Fel means towards up, up, fell. Meg doesn't have a real translation. Meg is just reinforcing words, perfecting them. L means towards somewhere else. L. At means through. At, through. Ra means on. Ra. Ide, towards here. Ide. Oda, towards there. Oda. Seit, just means apart. Seit. Össe, is one towards the other. Össe. Vissa, is in return. Vissa, so return. Vissa. Elu. It's towards the front. Elu. Haza. It's towards the house. Haza comes from the word has. That means house. Hoza means it's adding to something. Hoza. Tool is over something. By something. So passing by something. Going by something. Or going further. Vegig is until the end. Vegig. Kör is around in a circle. Kör. Neki is to him, for him. To the intention of someone, him or her, that is. So we are going to study, for example, the verb to go. Menni. Menni is to go. So, be towards the inside and menni, to go. Be menni is to enter. Be menni, to enter. Ki is towards the outside, if you remember. And ki plus the verb to go, menni, which is ki menni, is to go out, to get out. Kimani. Le is towards downstairs, right? So le and the verb many, le many, means to go downstairs or to go down. Le many. Have a great day and see you next time. Bye bye.